This is the Lug Pro and you are hearing the built-in speaker. Alright, so I've got a volume and I've got a gain. So I'm going to turn down the gain a little bit and get more of a clean sound. So I am loving this thing. It is super fun to play. Um, you know, it's, it's also just this really great way to approach guitar. Typically when we learn guitar, you learn the open chords down here, then you move on to the bar chords. And as people get more advanced, they start doing these melodic triads, which you can do on these first three strings of the guitar. And it's not that they are harder than any, th any of these other things that I was just mentioning. People just, uh, you know, it's probably quite unfortunate, just don't learn them until later. And that's where a lot of the beauty is and complementary parts to someone playing chords down here. Like if someone's playing a, a G down here, then me playing a G in the same position is not really going to sound very good, but I can come up here and I can do that D shape. If you've learned any guitar, there, D is one of those first chords you learn down there. But this shape, one shape, and I can play this many chords because I can just take that one shape and move it up because you're essentially doing like half of a bar chord. But you're not doing half of a chord. You're doing the whole chord. A chord, like a, a major chord, is only three notes. A minor chord is only three notes. So when you're doing the full bar chord, there's all this repetition. But you don't have to have all that repetition. So on a lug, the open strum is an E minor. So that means I can just take my finger and depending on where I put it, I know that many minor chords all of a sudden. I know 12 in fact. Open, depending on where I put it. So it's a really great way for adults to jump into guitar. It's obviously the way to go for children is to teach a three string guitar. Even if you just have a six string guitar and you're only teaching them things on the first three, whatever you gotta do, three strings is without a doubt the way to go. Ukulele is really popular right now and I love ukulele, it's beautiful chord voicings. But if the end goal is to play guitar, then I wouldn't go the direction of ukulele. I would start a child on a three string guitar or a six string where you take three of them off or, or just have them only play the three because you're learning all the concepts with this and you're gonna be able to play up and down the neck and it's just super fun. 
I didn't expect this guitar to be as much fun as it was. Like I've wanted one for a long time and I knew I would like it, but it's actually more fun than I thought. And I have this one student, she's been playing for about five years and she's 18 and she's really conservative with her money. Her mom says like, she does not want to spend any money. Her dad will even see something on Craigslist and be like, you, you want this guitar? And she's like, no, I got a couple of guitars, I'm fine. But I let her play this because we were working on a lot of those triads. She loved it. She's like, how much do those cost? She's like, I could really see getting one of those. Really interested in it. And I can see why because it, it is just a blast. Now, full disclosure, Lug sent me this guitar. But I will also say I'm the one who contacted them because I like their vision of teaching the three strings and I even offered to, you know, if they send me a return label, I would mail it back. That's just how much I wanted to try one. And I'm really pleased. I like everything about it. As a teacher, I'll say sometimes parents will get just some random guitar off Amazon. And I'd have to unfortunately tell them sometimes that, quite a few times, that it's unplayable because the tuners have to be decent. They have to be able to hold the instrument in tune. And I've had lessons where I keep tuning it. As soon as I'm done tuning it, it's already out of tune. And we it's just an unusable instrument. This stays in tune quite nicely. Now, if you get one, just know anytime you get a new guitar, anytime you put on new strings, it's going to be falling out of tune left and right. Because the strings have to be broken in. And a lot of times people will kind of pull on the strings to break them in. That's what all of us guitar players do. But you have to be cautious because you can snap one and so unless you have extra strings around. But just know it will be falling out of tune uh, upon getting it. It takes a, a 9 volt battery which is not a big deal. You don't have to use a screwdriver to get in that cavity. So anyway, I hope that helps you and remember you can totally do this.